What's going on YouTube? My name is Sweat and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. In today's video, we are going to be going over some of the most important movement techniques that console players should be utilizing on a game-to-game -game basis. Now before this video starts, I do want to say three things. Number one is that I did say on console, so that means I will not sadly be going over how to do a 360 no scope, ladder stall, zip line, jump on mouse and keyboard. Number two is that I will only be going over the most important console movement techniques in this video. So no, Russell, I did not forget about wall jumps and zip line boosting. I left them out on purpose. I'm only listing movement techniques that you use on a game-to-game -game basis. And number three, nobody cares if you guys knew all these movements, if you're going to comment it down below, because you should, okay? Every single skilled player in this game should be utilizing and should know of every single movement technique I am going to talk about in this video. So just keep that comment to yourself, Josh. And without further ado, let's hop into the firing range and go over some of the most important console movement techniques. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the firing range. The first movement technique that I have for you guys is strafing. Now, a lot of you guys should already know what strafing is, but if you already don't know, it's the act of going left and right while aimed down sights or while just moving in general to avoid bullets or evade enemy shots. Now, I do want you guys to know a couple things about strafing right here. The first one being that pistols, submachine guns, and shotguns are going to be the fastest strafe speed. Okay, so you're going to move the fastest with these weapons. So when I go over and take a Spitfire, for example, you're going to see that the strafe speed decreases uh, very, very dramatically. But you, that doesn't mean that you aren't going to want to still strafe back and forth because it's still trying to evade enemy bullets. It is still better than doing what this dummy is doing by standing still. So you definitely want to keep that in mind. The second thing that I want to say is that there are different types of strafes, okay? First of all, we have the long strafe where you strafe way back, way forth, like, you know what I mean? You're going way to the left, way to the right. But then there's a little short one, back and forth up close. And then you got your little crouch shot, crouch strafe, back and forth. Okay, those are the main three strafe techniques that you're going to want to use in game i'm used to actually up close i would highly recommend doing the crouch one okay especially if you have your crouch on hold or you have a scuff controller it's way easier to spam your crouch and then you just go back and forth easy shots right there all right everybody on to movement technique number two this is going to be mantling and i'm going to explain a quick situation right after i quickly explain what mantling is in general so mantling is just going to be jumping up on a structure really quickly to gain the height advantage on an opponent so let's say this is a quick example of what mantling why mantling would be effective okay so let's say an enemy is shooting you around this corner right they're tracking you with their bullets they're hitting a bunch of shots on you you're one bullet and they want to chase around like this okay they don't know where you went but they're chasing really hard so if they're following this pattern coming around this corner what you're going to want to do if you're standing over here is jump onto this structure this is going to give you the quick height advantage and most likely they're not going to see you right away okay especially if this structure was higher like such as this or even this honestly yeah jump up on this this is a little higher they're going to be coming around this corner and believe it or not a lot of basic players will be just like looking like this they won't even be aiming up so they probably won't see you climbing this and what it's going to do is it's going to give you an easier headshot on the person number one and number two, like I said, you will be out of their field of view. So you're not they're not going to know that you're up there. It's just going to catch them by surprise. So say they're coming around this corner, like I said. Jump up here. Bop. And they have they have barely enough time to react. No matter, depends on what weapon you have, obviously. But if you have a Peacekeeper or an R9, you could probably shred them before they even look up at you. So that is a very useful movement technique for console players and even PC players if you want to go there. All right, so this next movement technique is pretty basic. Everybody and their mother should be doing this. If you're not doing this, then it's probably your first day on the game. But just sliding around the map is going to make it faster, okay? It's going to be faster than running, sliding every few steps. But you have to let your slide cool down. And what I mean by this is let's say you're running right here and then you try to slide again. You're going to get this dead slide. You can get this weird slide, okay? You see? You got to let your slide recharge. It's going to take a couple seconds. 
you see I'm getting full distance right here on the slides because I'm letting it I'm letting it recharge I didn't let it recharge right there the uh, time before that but if you don't let it recharge it's gonna look like that and you're gonna get these little slides and that's not what you want you want to keep running for a couple steps and then slide just like that that is gonna get you around the map faster like I just said and yeah you should be sliding everywhere guys also sliding around corners sliding around structures this is gonna help you while you're healing the sliding can do a ton of things let's say you're running right here in the open and somebody's shooting you from right here right they can only see you until you get to this structure but if you're just running like this all they have to be doing is going like this shooting you right but if you're sliding if you're sliding and then standing up or doing some weird combinations sliding jumping sliding jumping they're gonna have to move their aim in this pattern you know what i mean it just makes it harder for enemies to hit you and every little advantage on console or or on pc rather uh we will take the advantages all right everybody the next movement technique is called bunny hopping and this is basically the act of sliding and then jumping and then keep pressing your jump button and you're gonna be like a little bunny pretty much and it's gonna be really tough to hit you it's gonna be it's gonna be really effective in uh dodging enemies bullets whether you're healing or you're not healing i know they patched the healing uh bunny hopping thing where you could go full speed back in what was it season two but it's still really effective and it can still be used uh to your advantage so this is what that should look like when you have bunny hopping down and you could basically go all the way around the map bunny hopping if you really wanted to but anyways how you want to do this how you want to master bunny hopping right i do have a scuff controller keep in mind but the buttons i am hitting right so i'm gonna slide hit my jump button i'm doing it in slow motion so it's not gonna work right now but i'm gonna slide hit my jump button and then just keep tapping my jump button right as soon as i hit the ground okay you don't want to just keep tapping it as fast as you can because it's not gonna work but you're gonna want to hit your jump button repetitively once you hit the ground you want to time it correctly so once again as soon as you hit the ground you want to keep tapping your jump button all right let's go up here it's gonna be even more effective on hills and slopes because obviously your me momentum is already going downward so this is what it's gonna look like when we're heading downhill you can go around corners you can move your stick whatever way you want to you can keep going all the way around the map if you want you're probably not going to be you're not going to be able to go uphill but you're going to want you're going to be able to do um like move around any sing, any corner any structure whatever you guys want to do if you just keep hitting that button you know what i mean all right everybody the next movement technique is called zip line jumping this one is pretty self-explanatory it is just not riding a zip line straight okay so this is what normal players do i see a lot of the time people just taking zip lines like looking at the enemies that are shooting at them and not really doing anything but zip line jumping is just jumping onto the zip line and once you are on it you're gonna jump up and then reattach so you're gonna hit your uh your jump button and then your interact button and you can even stay in place with this you can do whatever you want with this you can switch directions saw right there switch directions again it's gonna make it really tough for enemies to hit you that's all i gotta say about that so what it's gonna look like right if you are taking a zip line let's say that an enemy is taking this zip line right here right all i have to do with my aim is go like this if they're riding the zip line straight across this is all i have to do boom 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 boom, boom. and i'm hitting most of my shots because well, obviously, I'm not using an R99 from that distance, but they're, I'm just tracking them straight, right? If they're zipline jumping, it, it literally looks like this. It's absolutely, it's like, boop, 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 boop. It's going to be, like, way tougher, like, insanely tougher. If anybody knows, if they've shot at anybody zipline jumping, it's way tougher than them just sliding across. And especially, like, it's not going to be as effective. Let's say say i'm up here right i'm gonna i'm gonna head up here real quick all right so when we're up here if you're looking at someone taking the zip line this way 
and they're jumping up and down it's gonna be way harder to hit them even from this angle it's gonna be okay let's say they're going straight they're just going straight they're just riding it along blah 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 like this okay they're riding it just like that all you have to do with your aim boop 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 just like that but if they're jumping up and down just like that this is what your aim's gonna look like something like that it's gonna be way more way more strayed and way more scuffed so you're gonna miss a lot more bullets so that's what you want to be doing if you are heading away from gunfire or heading in to where an enemy is at pretty much the next movement technique is going to be slide shotting now i covered this quickly in my last video but slide shotting is just going around corners shooting while you're sliding pretty basic and what you're going to want to do for this is press your slide button aim at the enemy and take some shots okay it doesn't matter what weapon you're using just try to hit most of your shots and this is going to be really effective obviously when coming around corners shooting at enemies they're not going to expect you to be sliding most enemies aim is just going to be looking like let's say the corner is right here they're going to be trying to hit a headshot on you right so they're looking like this even though you'll be down towards here so you're gonna get the first couple shots off on them and you should have the upper hand when you are crouch shot and then most likely a lot of enemies will be standing still or just moving back and forth but they're not gonna be like they're not gonna be crouched and sliding so it's gonna give you the upper hand like I said on to the next movement technique which is gonna be crouch shotting so while you are in a fight let's say you're strafing or whatever you're doing whether you're up close or far distance you're gonna want to be crouching while you're shooting you know it's gonna want to be random crouches though it's not gonna it's not gonna be what is it called like like timed crouches you're not gonna do it every like five seconds like all right all right uh boop all right all right boop no it's gonna be random it's gonna be back and forth back and forth crouching every couple of seconds and how you want to want to do this is just press your crouch button whenever you think is necessary to evade bullets so like i said not in a normal pattern not taking a couple shots Doop. Boop. Boop. not do that nope back and forth back and forth avoiding enemy bullets avoiding enemy bullets this is going to mess with your aim by the way you're not going to be as accurate when you're crowd shotting but it's going to help you get hit way less than if you were just standing still going like this throwing in those crouches is going to do a lot because their enemy the aim okay say this is me i'm moving back and forth even if i'm moving back and forth all my aim is doing is this when you're crouching it's basically a figure eight okay it's back and forth back and forth back and forth you don't know where the enemy is going and the, your bullets are doing this okay i don't even have enough bullets but your bullets back forth blah blah you know what i mean it's gonna be way harder for enemies to track you and hit you all right the next thing we have next movement technique that we have it's not even really a movement technique but it's corner peeking okay so we're gonna pretend an enemy is right here right enemies coming around the corner blah 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 you always want to be peeking the corner no matter if you can see an enemy uh, or whatever's happening you always want to be aimed around corners just waiting for like a, even if there's like a camper or wherever the kid is you always want to be ready for someone to be around the corner i know a lot of people don't actually do this another quick tip is that you can peek the right side of a structure easier than the left side as you can see on the screen right now my gun is slightly on the right side of my screen if you guys take a pizza cutter right and slice my screen into two you're gonna see that the gun is clearly clearly on the right side of my body so peeking on the right side i have more i have more angles than someone who is peeking on the left so this is basically the same look as on the right side but i'm not on the left side right now look how much more i can see from the right side okay compared to here let's see let's see let's see so i'm lining up I'm lining up the little tube, right? Lining up the little tube on my gun on the right side. Okay. You can see it's touching the structure. 
and this is where my aimer is when that is perfectly lined up when I go over to this side and it's perfectly lined up that's where I'm looking okay it's pretty clear pretty obvious to me that you can see more from the right side of your body so keep that tip in mind and use that effectively whenever you can peek the right side of a structure indeed do so the next movement technique is just playing cover in general any piece of cover no matter what it is you want to be playing it to your advantage okay let's say this is my piece of cover right here i want to be peeking it so that the enemy has very little line of sight on me and i have the most the most prominent advantage on them i want to be the one in control of the situation so right here i'm peeking this angle i have a clear advantage if that enemy is going to peek me right here okay i have all this st structure to work with and they have none they're wide out in the open they're not even basically going to see any of my body all they're going to be seeing is just this little portion while i'm seeing their whole body and this doesn't matter whatever amount of cover you have any cover you want to be playing it effectively peeking it just over the top or doing whatever you want with it but let's say even this piece of cover right i have these like these little things would never be here in a real game but let's say they are i'm just bobbing back and forth between them you know what i mean or i'm behind this wall right here this enemy's over here i want to be peeking it so that little as little of my body is showing and as much of their body is showing as possible all right everybody the next movement technique that we have for you guys today is door blocking okay playing doors can go so many different ways it's not even funny but the main thing that i like to do when playing doors is if somebody is blocking it let's say somebody is right here inside of this door standing here blocking me off what i like to do is either throw a thermite grenade frag grenade or an arc star at the door it's gonna be way more effective than kicking it down because when you're kicking it down the animation is going to be like this really slowly and you can't get out of it once you start it but when you throw a thermite it's gonna go right under the door it's gonna be hitting them cracking their shields or doing whatever and when you throw a frag or an arc star it's saving yourself the time from part or like kicking the door right here say like this it's gonna save you a lot of time as I just previously stated, there is so many things you can do with door blocking. If an enemy is outside of the door and then they start running, just open the door, use it as cover. There's literally a million things you can do with doors, but these are just some of the ones that I use the most in game. Also, if you are trying to block an enemy from coming in, like I said, just use the door, stand behind it, but just beware of the thermite grenades, of the frag grenades of the arc stars because once that blows the door up you are a sitting duck